Anticyclonic Tornadoes – The Backward Twisters Most tornadoes in the Northern Hemisphere rotate counterclockwise. That's because of the Coriolis effect, a result of Earth's rotation that influences how storms spin. But every once in a while, nature flips the script. Anticyclonic tornadoes spin in the opposite direction, clockwise. They're extremely rare, accounting for less than 2% of all observed tornadoes, and they usually form under very specific conditions, often on the backside of a supercell thunderstorm, where winds shift direction sharply. In 1998, a small town in Oklahoma witnessed one of these rare backward twisters. Radar confirmed its clockwise rotation, stunning meteorologists. Even though it was smaller than typical tornadoes, it still packed winds over 100 miles per hour. Anticyclonic tornadoes remind us that the atmosphere doesn't always follow the rules, and sometimes it literally spins the other way. Fire tornadoes, when flames become a twister. Now imagine this, a wildfire so intense that it creates its own tornado. That's not a movie scene, it's real science. Fire tornadoes, or firenados, happen when rising columns of hot air from a blaze begin to spin rapidly, sucking flames, ash, and debris into a rotating vortex. The most famous case occurred in Redding, California, in 2018, during the Car Fire. The fire Nado reached winds of over 140 miles per hour, equivalent to an EF3 tornado. It uprooted trees, melted cars, and tragically claimed several lives. These events are incredibly rare because they require three things. Intense heat, unstable air, and wind shear strong enough to make the column rotate. With wildfires growing more intense due to climate change, scientists are studying firenados more closely, because they might become less rare in the future. Snowspout Tornadoes – Tornadoes Made of Snow You've probably seen water spouts or dust devils, but have you ever heard of a snowspout? A snowspout, sometimes called a snownado, is a winter version of a tornado that forms during lake-effect snowstorms. Instead of rain and thunder, it's made of snow and ice crystals. These rare tornadoes form when cold air passes over warmer water, creating a turbulent layer of moist air that starts to spin. They're usually weak and short-lived, lasting only a few minutes, but visually they're stunning. A white funnel cloud twisting across a frozen landscape looks almost otherworldly. In December 2022, a snow spout was recorded over Lake Ontario, a rare phenomenon even for seasoned meteorologists. It's one of the few types of tornadoes that feels more magical than menacing. Mountain Tornadoes – Twisters Above the Clouds Most people think tornadoes only form over flat land, like the Great Plains but occasionally, they defy that rule too. Mountain tornadoes are among the rarest types ever documented. High terrain usually disrupts the wind patterns needed for rotation, but under just the right conditions, strong instability, deep moisture, and localized wind shear, a tornado can form even at high altitudes. In June 2012, a tornado touched down in the Colorado Rockies near Pikes Peak, more than 9,000 feet above sea level, it was small but powerful, tearing through forested slopes, something scientists once thought impossible. These tornadoes prove that height isn't always a barrier when it comes to atmospheric chaos. Water spouts, tornadoes over the sea. Now, not all tornadoes form over land. Water spouts are essentially tornadoes that develop over water, usually in tropical or coastal regions. There are two main kinds, fair weather water spouts, which form from developing cumulus clouds and are relatively weak. Tornadic water spouts, which descend from strong thunderstorms and can be just as dangerous as land-based tornadoes. In Florida, water spouts are fairly common, but in places like the Mediterranean or the Great Lakes, they're extremely rare and can surprise even experienced sailors. In 2021, a massive water spout off the coast of Italy was caught on camera, twisting violently before making landfall damaging buildings and boats. They might look beautiful from afar, but make no mistake. These spinning water columns are just as deadly as their land-based cousins. Multiple Vortex Tornadoes When one becomes many 
Sometimes, a single tornado isn't enough. Under extreme conditions, a massive tornado can split into multiple smaller vortices spinning around a central core. These are called multiple vortex tornadoes, and they're terrifying. Each mini-tornado can cause its own path of destruction, which is why after a major tornado, you'll sometimes see buildings completely leveled right next to ones that are untouched. The 2013 Moore, Oklahoma EF5 tornado is a classic example. It had several sub-vortices rotating around the main funnel, creating chaotic and unpredictable wind patterns. Scientists believe these vortices can reach speeds exceeding 250 miles per hour, making them among the deadliest wind events on Earth. Rope Tornadoes – Nature's Vanishing Whip After a large tornado finishes its life cycle, it often narrows into a thin, twisting strand before disappearing. This final stage is called a rope tornado. They're mesmerizing, a narrow funnel stretching from the clouds, dancing across the ground, sometimes looping and twisting like a whip. Don't let the slim size fool you, though. Some rope tornadoes still carry winds strong enough to toss cars and rip off roofs. The reason they're rare isn't because they're uncommon. It's because most people never get to see this stage up close. By the time a tornado ropes out, the storm that spawned it is usually dying down, and the funnel quickly fades. Invisible Tornadoes, the ones we can't see. Here's one of the strangest kinds of all, invisible tornadoes. A tornado is only visible because of condensation. The funnel cloud we see is made of condensed water vapor and debris. But sometimes the air is too dry for condensation to form meaning the tornado itself is completely invisible. All you might see is debris suddenly being lifted off the ground with no visible funnel above it. Storm chasers call these ghost tornadoes, and they're among the most dangerous because you can't spot them until they're right on top of you. In parts of Texas and Arizona, invisible tornadoes have been detected only through Doppler radar, not by eye. They're proof that sometimes the most dangerous forces are the ones you can't see. Landspouts, the baby tornadoes. Not all tornadoes come from giant supercell storms. Landspouts are smaller, weaker tornadoes that form when rotation near the ground stretches upward into a developing thunderstorm. They're often short lived but can still cause significant damage if they hit populated areas. In 2020, a landspout in Colorado caught meteorologists by surprise when it touched down near a farm field and tossed debris hundreds of feet in the air. Even though it didn't come from a classic storm, it reminded everyone that tornadoes don't always need huge clouds to form. White Tornadoes, the Tornadoes of Ice and Hail. And finally, the rarest of the rare, White Tornadoes. These are tornadoes that appear completely white because they're filled with hail, snow, or ice. They usually form in cold core storms where freezing air dominates the atmosphere. In 2016, a white tornado was captured in Colorado, glowing bright against a dark sky. It looked surreal, like something out of a dream. These storms are extremely rare because the environment has to be both cold enough for ice and unstable enough for a tornado. They're beautiful, but deadly, spinning sculptures of ice powered by raw atmospheric energy, 